Good afternoon, we are at Grey Abbey. It's Saturday the 8th of June, it's about a quarter past three. And the graveyard, this must be one of the most packed out graveyards that I have ever seen, ever come across. It's absolutely packed to the gills. A lot of United Irish men are buried in here. And this is the 12th century abbey at Grey Abbey. And we're looking for something in particular. There's something a wee bit strange and comical. And I'm always mesmerised by what you find up high up on these old walls. You find gargoyle type faces. And look at what you find here. This is somebody, somebody's backside. And there's a hole. And there's a drainage channel up here. I mean, why would you have this? Why would you do this on a, on a place of worship? A supposedly uh, godly place. Why would you have this kind of addition? Yes, really weird to find these faces. Who were these people that they were depicting? And why was there somebody Do, doing something unmentionable up on a, the, the gable wall of a, of a sacred place. There's another face. Yeah, that's a wee bit more eroded. And there's definitely a face with sort of rabbit ears. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, an old face, and a lot of these old faces in other abbeys, the uh, leading churchmen deliberately uh, added these, and many of them were replicas of people that they didn't like. But this, this really does take the biscuit. Up on the walls of Grey Abbey. Come and find it for yourself. I just wouldn't have believed that they would be at this. Such a sacred spot. You never know what you've come across. Now here's a wee bit of detail about this, this uh, north transept. Uh, and it says, do take time to, take, to explore. If you look up at the outside wall of the chancel to the east, you can see carved corbels 
decorated with human heads and beasts which were added when the chancel roof was altered in the 15th century. And here they are. That's what I was filming. Why was this done? Who knows? Added in the 15th century. <laughs>